Hi everybody, this is part two of our birthday celebration. During the live stream, we introduced a new song by Orion called Lay Around and Love on You. Now, according to Linda Hood Sigmund, this song was sung by Jesse Elvis um, and recorded on the LP by him. She had a copy of it on her channel, which I will link in the description up above here. And you guys can re listen to that. But I have a clearer version where I bought the video, the movie, the album called New Beginnings by Orion. And I MP3'd it and made a video of it. And I compared it with a later recording that Jimmy Ellis did under Ellis James in his Special Moments album. And he recorded it lay around and love on you um now this is from the channel bob de Lauder. okay that's her channel and she has a bunch of orion songs and jimmy ellis songs on it so what i did was i kind of made an mp3 of that version so i can compare all right so in the uh, video live stream video I named her wrong so her name is Bob DeLauder okay and you can find her on YouTube so you guys enjoy this comparison and at the end we will discuss um, a little about what the group um, came up with and some other theories that we came up with as well all right so without further ado here you go Enjoy. Okay. So the challenge with this song, hold on before I do it. Sound challenge with this song is if you listen to this song on the LP and then you listen to the song on YouTube, um, I think Pam Dobler has a channel that's all like Jimmy Ellis Orion. Jimmy Ellis recorded this song again, but later on in life. And he recorded it a little slower. So, the challenge that we have is, is this really Elvis or Jimmy singing the LP version? You're going to notice a little tiny difference between them. So, let me know what you think. I'm going to, I put a picture of Elvis with a mask on. That is the LP version. And then I'm going to give you next to it, right next to it, different chunks the same song with Jimmy Ellis singing it. And it says Jimmy Ellis, not Orion. Okay. Cause he did his own albums afterwards and remade some of the Orion songs. So this one was interesting cause I spliced it and put them side by side at the end. I want you guys to tell me if they are two separate singers or if they're the same singer singing it. Okay. So this might be interesting. Two. It's Monday morning and it's 6 a.m. Time for me to go to work again. Hey, all I want to do is lay around and love on. Everything in that book Yeah, all I want to do Is live around in 
So what's the verdict? Uh, the second one's Elvis. Really? That's what I think. You think the first one or the second one is Elvis? The second the one. OP one second, is the one that's, that's Elvis. That second one's Elvis. Really? Yep. I don't know about that. Let's see what everyone else thinks. I think it's the first version that's Elvis because it had a little bit more punch uh, and a little higher, but yeah, a little faster. And that is the version that Linda Hood Sigmund had said was Elvis. So look, well, there's, a bunch, there's, a bunch, there's a bunch of people in the comments saying the same thing I did. That the second one's Elvis. Really? Okay. Yeah. Well. Let's let me go through this because I don't see all the comments yet. All right. So it is so dreamy, no matter what age. Yeah, he is. I mean, he's so got. He's got a voice like I guess they say. It gets sweeter with age. That's what I heard. Anyway. Gaston said she misses. She agrees. She feels she missed his fans and we got tapped. 
had to do what he had to do and needed sadness of our hearts, but love him no matter what. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move this video because I can't see it. There. Ah, now I can see this a little better. You're the kitty. <laughs> My cat is so wild right now, Rita. I think he does need catnip to make her sleep. <laughs> All right. Anyway. Okay, that was resurrection she's talking about. He's lived more every day in all new generations. She said, thanks for the prayers. You're very welcome. It's okay, Joy. I finally found it. Yes, and I believe it's still going to be taped on Facebook, and I will put it on the group or underneath one of the events, and I'll take the other event down because it's too confusing. Anyway. Woohoo on the numbers, yeah. After I went through, uh, I think 300 and took 300 off, and I think we gained like 20 more or something like that. But everyone just has to answer the questions. That's all I require now. <coughs> Sharon Moore. Finally found it. Awesome. I'm glad you did. Welcome, <coughs> Sharon. The first singer, not E. The second singer is E. Okay. This is close, but I think the second is E. Okay. So, I think the second is E. All right. And one is E. Wow. All right. So, could it be a possibility that both of them were E? Just one is better quality recording, a little faster. The other one is a little slower. I don't know. I have a, they're very close. Like I said, he sounds so close to the Highway 61 album. Which one? Because one is actually Jimmy singing that song. <laughs> so that's how close their voices are. And that's how they could get away with switching it off, you know, switching places on on um, on the stage because you could they could fool anyone. They were the same height, same weight, just different ages, but with a mask, makeup, hair different color. Because Elvis would dye his hair black anyway, um, the same height, and they would stay the same weight. They could get away with it. Switching off, they looked a lot alike, and they sounded a lot alike, except one pronounced differently than the other. It was from one pronounced book and look, and a couple other words differently, but not by much. They're very close. Sharon says the first one, okay? Yes, they are very close, and I agree. It's very close. At first, when I heard it, all right, this is my opinion. Linda had said on her site she had a copy of it, but it comes out so like she had such bass in her recording. It was like recorded off of like a, an album, like a speakers and stuff and subwoofers, that it came out all muffled sounding. When I got the album, I put it on the MP3 like this one of these and put it in the computer so you kind of get a less bass and that type of thing and when i listen to it with my earphones i'm like oh, i'm not sure if that is um elvis at first when i listened to it because i was like i was on the fence about that one really i was on the fence but she said it was him and she said, you know, he gets all our mailing and everything, so he would say if it wasn't him. So, I don't know. But that would be the first recording, not the second recording. A second recording was from uh, Jimmy Ellis's albums later on, and he slowed it down. You know. I read that love. Okay, so, the verdict of the group was... Jim thought the second one was Elvis. After we had a discussion on the phone, 
the day before, and I had him listen to Linda Hood Sigmund's version uh, recorded. He said, oh, no, that's Elvis singing that. Okay. So he changed. He flipped on me. So it kind of shocked me, all right, on the video. But anyway, all right. So this is the tally that we have in the group so far. Now, it might change in the next couple of days or whatever. So anyway, the first song sung by Elvis. We had six votes. The second song sung by Jimmy was six votes. The second song by, by, by Elvis was nine votes. Um, nobody said anything about the first song not being sung by Elvis. So that's another thing. So we don't know if they wanted, if that was, they were implying that Jimmy was singing the first song. I don't know. All right. Then we have six people who said both songs were sung by Elvis, which I had addressed on the video. That could be a possibility they were sung by the same man. Everybody agreed that there was at least uh, a little differences in the voice. Some people said they were the same voice. Some people said they were different voices. So this is what I got. All right. So the first song on the LP is faster and the voice is louder. It's sung louder with a little more oomph, a little bit more feeling in it. Um... And I just want to sit there and just sing along with it, because that's how it is. And and his U's, he holds holds those U's down, and they and they they stay the same uh, note. So like, and then also care here, and he would say um, he holds the holds the A in the care. He holds the E in here. And he hits those U's. And they hold it. When he says turn it around, there's a growl. Like a loud growl in his voice. Kind of, you know, like similar to Elvis would do. He said hook. He said book. Right? When somebody calls a phone is off the hook, we're going to try everything in that book. And all I want to do is lay around and love on you, right? And that's the way he did it. And then he's got that attack. Lay around and love. Lay around and love on you, right? Anyway. All right. You is held on is on the way he says on. He says loose. He holds that ooh. And it's like loose, right? Okay. Fooling. Like, he holds a fool in and he really rolls that L down, and it and it, the end goes up. So, go down, you know, like, then the U and yay, yeah, and U are held. All right, the vowels. Now, the second song, it's just slower, the voice is softer. Um, there's less attack. It's more like a, I don't know what I, I want to call it, like a, an easy listening song for me. All right. So maybe it, because it's slowed down, it's not as, um, attack. So anyway, when he says AM sounds different to me, um, he says do, he holds the U. Um, the cure is he goes up one, up note. Here goes up one note, but doesn't hold those. I mean, care. He doesn't hold the A. He goes up one and the E. So like K air and P ear, you know, like, like that. On, it, he says on a different way than Elvis does. Turn it loose. He has a growl in the turn it, but not the same. It's not as loud. Hook. He says hook. Book. You. Now instead of saying hook. Book. It says hook. Book. You. So that is probably where people think it's Elvis singing that. Because Elvis has been known to say the ba the ending of his words like. um, 
when I listened to Return to Sender today, he said the last, the last, um, the letters D, like hand, he says hand, understand, he says understand, he doesn't say the D, but that doesn't mean he doesn't say the C, like rock, he says C, okay, so I'm going to say, in my humble opinion, after writing all the notes down, listening to the song, and how it's pronounced, I'm going to say that the foolin' around you, yay you, uh, the fool is very close, the down is very close, but on the, the original recording, down, the N is, um, what do you call it, like, really pronounced. And Elvis has been known to say that, like, with the end at the end of the word, really pronounced. Okay. The other one, I don't hear that N. I mean, I hear just a regular down type of thing. But everything else is he holds the U, he holds the A, he holds the U. So they're almost exactly the same. Okay. So. It could be a possibility that Elvis recorded it as James Ellis. I mean, Ellis James. All right. Um, ten years difference slows it down. He wants to take a different approach, like he's done with Hound Dog before, and um, he's done different with like um, Heartbreak Hotel. He sung that different. He's sung um, a couple other songs different. So it's a possibility that he wanted to change this up. All right. So because people heard Elvis in that nine people heard Elvis in the second song, I can't say yay or nay to the possibility of Elvis not singing it. So I'm going to make my decision that it's sung by Elvis. Both of them are sung by Elvis, just at different time periods. And maybe he wanted to change it up to make it sound like Jimmy. Don't know. If it really is Jimmy that's saying it, then we have bad ears and we need to go back to the hearing department <laughs> and listen to more Elvis Presley. All right. I'm going to say definitely the first song was sung by Elvis. I can feel the, I was like almost like this at the end of the song. I'm like, yeah, I love it. I want to read it. I want to redo it over. The second song just fell flat, and I didn't want to do it over. <laughs> so that's my opinion, okay? So there will be no wrong answers or replies on this one. You guys can decide for yourself. Was it just the first song that was Elvis and sung the second song sung by Jimmy? Or was the first song sung by Jimmy and the second song by Elvis? Or were both songs sung by Jimmy? Oh, we're both songs sung by Elvis. You guys decide which one and put it in the comments. All right. And one day when I'm all done tallying up all the responses, I will go on live stream or on another video and I will give you the results of the voting. All right. Maybe, and when I get to a thousand subscribers, I will do that. I will reveal that. So anybody who gives me, I get to a thousand subscribers. When I'm getting close. All right. We will do a countdown of our favorite songs. And I will do the ones that are most viewed. All right. On the, on the channel here. And um, I will tell you the vote for this song. All right. Between both um, social medias. All right. Okay. Until then, next time, I should be on probably Sunday on a live stream at 3 o'clock this Sunday, April, I mean April, August 11th, excuse me, August 11th at 3 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. I will be on and will read the rest 
of chapter 7 and part of chapter 8 on the truth about Elvis Aaron Presley in his own words. You won't believe what is going to be revealed. So don't miss that. And of course, it will be taped. So those of you that do miss it can watch it then. Okay? Until then, goodbye. God bless you all. Good night.